Tools and supplies we're gonna be needing today, a small electronic screwdriver, needle nose pliers, solder, a tri-wing screwdriver, 3.8 millimeter game pit, a soldering iron, some CR1616 tabbed batteries, some CR2025 tabbed batteries. You should have a Game Boy of some sort to test it with and optional, but still useful, a multimeter. It's always good to have a multimeter laying around. And of course, the broken Game Boy games that we need to fix. And that means it's time to do some maintenance and change your battery. For the original Game Boy and Game Boy Color Pokemon games, you're not going to be able to maintain a save state, so that is going to be an issue. And another way you can tell if the batteries are dead is by taking your multimeter. This is an original Pokemon Silver game. Take your 3.8 millimeter game pit, open that bad boy up, slide the top down, expose the bare cartridge, take the negative terminal, press it on the negative, take the positive, press it on the positive, and see if your reading is in volts or millivolts. Because if you're getting a reading in millivolts, right now I'm at 26 millivolts that's definitely a dead battery anything under three volts you're going to want to change and right here we have a reading of 25.9 26 millivolts and that is this pokemon silver edition that has a completely toast battery once your soldering iron is heated up i like to start at the negative terminal which is at the south press it on your solder take a little screwdriver or something and just lift up on that solder joint and as you can see i have removed that joint very fast, very easily. Let's do the same on that other side. Put a little bit of force on that battery tab when that solder melts and just lift it right up and out of the game. There is a way to do it with soldering braid, but most people don't have that. So you can do it perfectly fine without it. Take your CR2025 battery. Positive is at the top of the game. The negative is at the bottom of the game. There's also a little plus with a circle and a little minus with a circle in case you forget. Melt that little bit of solder that was left on there. Just to tack it down in place. Move to your positive side. There are holes on these tabs that you can put your soldering iron tip in just to add pressure and kind of keep it from moving around. Once it's tacked down, then you want to melt all of the solder and disperse it on top of the tab. You just kind of move it around. And if you have trouble covering the tab completely, take a little bit more solder and just add it to that pile and then paint it over that tab until you have a beautiful solder joint. And then do the same thing to the other side. Two little nice tabs of solder. Once it cools down, you can take your multimeter, put it on the solder joints, and we get a 3.18 reading. This game is good to go. Another one down, look at that beautiful joint. Bringing these games back from the dead so they can be enjoyed at another moment in time. The Game Boy Advance ones are a little bit more difficult. I will show you that right now. I'd say these Game Boy Advance ones are maybe a two and a half out of five. A little bit more difficult just because everything in there is tighter. Removing the old battery is about the same. This is the trick with these ones. The, the battery sits on top of a board. So both of the tabs have to be bent with that little foot there, but the ones only come with one bent foot. This is the one we took out. It has two bent feet, if you can see. This is the new one and it only has one bent foot. So we're gonna have to bend this other foot over here. And that's what our needle nose pliers are for. Take a little right angle there and then take it again. Make another little right angle. This little foot platform that we need to solder onto that board right there. You wanna make sure you make enough clearance. It's a little crammed in here. It's gonna be resting right on top of that chip. So you gotta have those two feet to lift the battery up a little bit. And on this one, the positive side goes onto the south part of the board and then the north part of the board is actually the negative side. I found it easier to put a little bit of downward pressure on the tab, a little screwdriver or a piece of metal while creating that solder bead right there. And that negative looks good. We can put this back together, test it in our Game Boy and we should no longer get that, that low battery, dry battery error. No error, it goes straight to the safe state. The batteries in the Game Boy Advance ones, it's not for the save state, it's for the internal clock in the game. So I think the game has events based on a clock and that's what the battery inside of those are for. Hopefully this tutorial was informative. I'm going to fix the rest of these games off camera. I encourage everyone out there to try this if you've never done it before. It's not that difficult, maybe about a two out of five star rating. It does take some patience, but you will level up and sharpen your saw of knowledge of skills. And that to me is priceless. All the tools and batteries are linked in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram 
or drop a comment. I appreciate everyone for watching. And if you want to stick around for the rest of today's vlog, I would appreciate it. If you just wanted to learn how to fix some Game Boy games, then your work here is done. But the satisfaction that you get of doing something that you've never done before and getting hands on to me is amazing and I love it. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, grandmas. Today is Wednesday, August 23rd. Vlog 135, I think. I got some of the numbers mixed up a couple of vlogs ago, so we're gonna correct it today. Today is 135, even though yesterday was 133. I got numbers mixed up like 10 vlogs ago. So today is 135. So don't go looking for 134. Just got done filming that sequence. It took me a while, probably about two hours to change all the batteries. Look at the aftermath of this thing. A pile of batteries and tape there. I accidentally set my soldering iron on that and made a nice little burn in it. That's how you're supposed to do it on something metal. Some more garbage over here that needs to get thrown away. This is the stack of games that I fixed. So. Five Game Boy Advance, one, two, three, six, seven, eight Game Boy Color, and then nine Game Boy Advance right there. That one I actually had issues with afterwards. I uh, This one I'm working on right here would not play at all. So I pulled up the one tab of the battery. I saw that I got a little bit of solder on the ROM board. I uh, splashed like one tiny, tiny micro drop of solder on the RAM board. I uh, could not get the game to play until I popped it off, cleaned off the splash solder, and then uh, I'm going to tack this back down and be done. It, it took me longer than it actually should have because I was filming, trying to make a video. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up for effort. It was a lot of filming and like trying to get this done. I'm going to have to clean this mess of a studio up and I will get into what sold today. Final Fantasy Legend for the original Game Boy sold for $15. A homeboy actually paid for this finally. I've been waiting on payment for the Wilton electronic vice. That sold for 60 shipped. And we also sold this super clean pair of size nine Griffey Swingman in the Bulls colorway for $69, I think. Packages are ready. And just as I thought, I missed the mailman. It's like almost one o'clock here, but I did get this package. And I think I know what this is. All right, we got a beautiful water pump, some tensioner pulleys, and I got a brand spanking new timing belt. You don't even know what you're up against here, car. I know nothing about cars. Be prepared in the next couple of days. How to change a timing belt on a Kia Sedona 3.5 liter 2002 to 2005, I think. Be prepared for that video. It's gonna be a lot of frustration and headache, but it's coming. We're waiting on the AC compressor. We're waiting on the AC manifold. I think that's it. And then we'll be able to wrench on this thing. I th oh, I got a serpentine belt. I think I need to order serpentine wrenches as well. There's a specific wrench you need to like get a serpentine belt off correctly and get those pulleys taken care of. But since I missed the post office, I'm gonna go drop these off. Check the PO box. On our way to the post office to drop off those packages. I missed the postman this morning because I was filming that tutorial. And I'm also probably gonna get dumped on today. It rains every day in Florida. And I'm right now just dodging a bunch of gray clouds. I just knew it, I could feel it. What? You got one. Ah, awesome. It feels heavy. We got mail! But before we get into that, I did swing by Publix, got a Publix sub, and homeboy who made it for me today was covering somebody's shift. It was the most positive sounding, energetic Publix employee sub maker I've ever had. Hopefully he watches this, but shout out to Publix dude, I didn't catch your name. Thanks for making my sandwich, it's gonna be delicious. We got mail. Dan Gaffney, Coming from New Jersey. Thank you, Dan. So I'm guessing it's gonna be a handwritten card and it's something heavy on the inside. We got tree with birdhouses, paper clip, a good luck charm for the new van. Hi CP, my name is Bubba. You know my friend Sean Patrick Isles. He is in the green room. I always get excited when I get that notification on my phone that there's a new video. I always learn so much. I just recently lost my job and started my eBay page. Just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for your knowledge and videos. You give me a hope that I can make enough money the next few weeks to be able to afford us to afford school. Keep making those videos. Hopefully one day I can have the chance to meet you and be in one of your videos. Thanks. Sincerely, Dan Bubba Gaffney. And he gave me a good luck charm. A 50 cent piece. This is gonna go hang in my van. 
Thank you very much. The um, That's a super subscriber comment right there. That is awesome. We'll be keeping this. Thank you so much, Dan. I will continue to make the videos. Keep listing that inventory, stay organized, run your business, make some money, study hard, get, so, get those A's, earn that piece of paper, increase your earning potential, hustle on the side, make some good money, live a happy life. Thank you very much.